Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a video about my favorite MAC products. Uh, I wanted to choose 10 and I was thinking like, what if I was never allowed to use MAC except for 10 products? So that's how I came up with the 10 products I have, which was pretty hard to do because it's MAC. It's Mac. So yeah, I came up with 10 favorite Mac products. So if you want to see which one they are, please keep on watching. So the first product I want to show you and talk about is the Mac Face and Body Foundation. Um, this foundation is sheer to medium coverage. You got to shake it well before you use it. And I hear that a lot of people say the coverage is not so good. That's right, it's sheer coverage, but if you apply this one with your fingers, like you really gotta rub it into your face, just like I did in my bronze glowy yada yada video. But this one is amazing, like if you wanna have glowy skin and you don't wanna have too much coverage, this baby will be your best friend. I've been using this only a few months because before that I was always using the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation and I'm in an NC42. And in this one I am in a C5, and now in C6 because I got a little bit darker because I just came back from Spain. But this one, you guys, I love it. I have the big bottle, it's 120 ml, I believe, yeah. And I love it, this is my ride or die foundation. So for the next product, uh, this is a very popular product, I believe. It's the Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Golden. I use this powder all over my face, like the areas I wanna set my foundation. This gives a beautiful finish, like amazing. It is not as the Studio Fix powder because that is a foundation, so it will give you coverage. I'm not really a fan of that because I don't like the look of having first a liquid foundation and then a powder foundation on top of it it just looks too cakey to me and it doesn't look good on me so I've been using this for a long time and I am in love uh, the shade I'm in is a medium golden and yeah I couldn't leave this baby out of course you know it's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer what else do I need to say about this I think in every tutorial I made I use this baby it is amazing it is full coverage I think if you are into makeup, you must have tried this one. The MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is, I think, the best concealer MAC has. I tried a lot of concealers from MAC, but this one is just, it is the best. The coverage is good. It's great for under your eyes. I know this Studio Finish Concealer, I think it's called like that, like the one in the little round jar. That's full, full, full coverage, but I'm not really a fan to use it under the eyes because it is pretty thick and it creases on me and this baby doesn't. So, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer all the way. So, for the next product, I don't hear people talk about this product, maybe because it's a pro product. It's the set powder in the color yellow. I think it's in yellow. Soft yellow. Well, it's a loose powder. I bought it at the pro store and for those of you guys who use the Ben Nye banana powder it's kind of the same and I love this one to brighten my under eyes and to make my contour even more sharp it is just amazing and I also use it to bake under my eyes and you really get that highlighted look and I think it's better to use like a yellow powder for people who have skin tone like me because if you use a white powder like the Makeup Forever HD which doesn't look good with flash but anyway it just looks too white and I think that a yellow base powder is just much better so I am a huge fan of the soft yellow powder so yeah that's the soft yellow set powder by MAC that's so unnecessary by MAC I'm doing a whole MAC video yeah no amazing amazing hydration get rid of your powder face what do i need to say i have this in my purse i have the mini version when i get a little bit too oily on my nose i just use a little bit of power and i spray a little bit of fix plus just to get rid of that powder cake face i don't know how to call that this is amazing to be honest i don't know if this 
is going to make your makeup last longer. I do think that when you use powder on top of your face and you want to make it look a little bit more natural, even though you have 10 layers of makeup on your face, this baby will be your saver. I love this. I will always repurchase this baby. So next is actually a product also a pro product I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry but the thing is that this one it's the I don't even know how it's called wow that's good ah the max studio finish face powder in the color gold I was in the pro store and I saw these two these two like the yellow powder and then the gold powder and I was like what is this because it's a lot bigger and I opened it and then I saw something that I was like, oh my God. First of all, the name, it's called Gold. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> it's Gold. I use this one as a highlighter. It is so amazing. I didn't apply highlighter today on my face because I wanted to show you how it looks like. So it's a loose powder. And what I do, I just take a fan brush, dip it into the powder and look at it. like. Hello, um, you, like why is nobody talking about this product? It is the most beautiful gold highlighter you can wish for. Look, I will do the other side. Hello, diamond. Isn't that beautiful? I'm not sure about the price. I think it's about, I don't know, 25 or 30 euros, but you get 40 gram, 40 gram. That is a lot. And the pigmentation is amazing. Like, hello. I think this is actually my favorite, no, 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 that's a lie. Like, how do you choose between a good concealer and a good highlighter? That's impossible. Anyway, this is one of my favorite products by MAC. I discovered it a few months ago. But seriously, why is nobody talking about this? It is so beautiful. If you are a highlighter junkie, just like I am, buy it. Just buy it. Buy it. It is amazing. It is amazing. I was just thinking about myself. I don't have any particular order. I just take products that go from eyes to face to brows because here it is my baby the fluid line brow gel cream in deep dark brunette i use this one for my brows if you've seen my latest updated brow tutorial i use this one it's a brow cream and i think it is the best it's waterproof very pigmented you just have to use a little bit mine is pretty dirty because i wipe away any excess products in the cap as you can see but this one it is amazing i used the anastasia dip brow and i believe it's called ebony the color for years like the moment she came out with that product i was hooked that was my ride or die gel cream but since i discovered this one i never used my anastasia again and to me that was like shocking you know not using my dip brow by anastasia that is that's weird and even my sister is a huge fan she was also using the dip route and now she's using this baby and i love it and the most important thing about this one is it doesn't dry so the cream just stays creamy does that make sense well you know what i mean it doesn't dry and i, I think that is one of the most important thing because i don't have to use like uh, the duraline by inglow just to make it more creamy that's not necessary for this one so the fluid line brow gel cream yes girl love it love it can't live without it next is the famous prep and prime highlighter this is an oldie i use the color light boost and peach luster i use peach luster for my dark circles it's like the orange one and i use this one to highlight i do not use this under my eyes i don't use it as a concealer i use it exactly as a highlighter so i place it like here just to, just to brighten my under eye, like on my nose, on my forehead, on my chin, not as a concealer. This baby is just amazing. It's, it's just like, I'm actually pretty bad at explaining this, but 
If you're a Mac fan, you know this product. If you're new to Mac and you want to invest in like good products, this one is amazing. And it comes with a brush. <laughs> it's so dirty. It comes with a brush and you just have to twist and then product comes out so you can just apply it like this. I think it's very convenient and I love it. Prep and Prime Highlighter in Light Boost and Peach Luster. So then I have a product that I don't have with me right now because I left it at my boyfriend's place. Yeah, pretty stupid. Anyway, um, it is the MAC Extended Play Mascara in Extra Black. Is it called Extra Black? Well, like the blackest one. Amazing. I don't use it for my upper lashes. I use it for my bottom lashes. I think a lot of people use it for their um, lower lashes. It is just amazing. It makes your lashes so, so, so long. And the greatest thing about it is like the, the brush is very thin. I hate very, very thick brushes with hair. I like rubber mascaras, just like the In Extreme Dimension. Um, I love that mascara because it's rubber. I don't like brushes with hair for mascara. I don't know, these just doesn't work for me. But the um, Extended Play, love, 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 love that mascara. I, I don't think I will ever use anything else for my lower lashes, it's just the bomb.com, it is amazing. It's just a shame that I don't have it with me, but um, I will post a picture there or there or there. I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna place it, but you know that mascara, you can always Google it. It is just amazing, amazing. I think it's one of the best mascaras MAC has, so yeah. Then I have one more product. Yeah. Have I talked about nine products already? Go so fast. Oh. The last, last but not least, lip gloss. These are the MAC Plush, 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 how do you pronounce that? Plush glass? Plush glass in the color Ample Pink and Nice Buzz. And I also like Big Baby, but I forgot that at my boyfriend's place also. Anyway, if you like lip gloss, which I do, it is amazing. These lip glosses are pretty sticky to me. I like sticky lip glosses. I know for a lot of people that sounds weird, like how do you like sticky lip glosses? I love it because most of the time uh, sticky lip glosses will stay on longer. This one uh, plumps your lip a little bit, like it's not going to be a lot bigger, but a little bit, you can feel a slight tingle. But these are so, so beautiful. I'm going to try to swatch it for you. I have nice buzz on my lips right now on top of a um, liquid lipstick but it is so pretty because it's not really a color it is more like a sheen with a slight shimmer in it and ample pink is that pink I don't know can you see that uh, this is nice buzz oh here there you go and this is ample pink seriously if you're looking for a good lip gloss um, it is not a very pigmented lip gloss so if you're looking for a lipstick in a gloss then the plush gloss is not something for you but if you're looking for a nice lip gloss that will stay on a long time on top of your lipstick or just you know when you want to have shiny lips this baby will be your best friend i am such a fan of these plush glasses and that's actually it so these are my top 10 mac products and i am looking at my products and i noticed that most of the products are for the face i have one oh, which makeup product is not for the face anyway you know what i mean it's more like um, a foundation powder fix plus and 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 all that good stuff. I only had the gel cream for the eyebrows and then the two lip glosses. I didn't really talk about the MAC lipsticks or the MAC eyeshadows because I think everyone loves MAC lipsticks. Like, is there seriously anyone who can tell me like I do not like MAC lipsticks? Is, is, is that even possible? So to be mentioning it in my top 10 products no, not really. Just like the eyeshadows, love them. You cannot hate them. Love them, especially the matte one. I think they're very pigmented. So yeah, these are my um, MAC favorites. Um, if you want to see me do a, a top 10 MAC lipstick or nude lipstick by MAC or whatever kind of 
video just let me know I hope this helps and I, I really enjoyed making this video because I'm very I like to talk about products that I'm very excited about so if you want to see more videos like this please let me know and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new please subscribe to my channel and if you have a comment or you want to ask here I go again you know the drill just comment down below and I will get back to you soon again thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.